Yo, what's good? Back at with some more blue lock. Today we're gonna be reading a bunch of chapters. Well, y'all gonna be reading it. I, you know, what I'm saying it's me from the future. Um, it's kind of crazy how far uh I've gotten into the blue lock manga. Also watching the anime because you know what's crazy? I never really liked football or soccer or whatever until I started like watching uh, soccer slash football anime. The reason why I say slash because some people get triggered when I say soccer instead of football me personally i don't care either way you know what? i'm gonna say soccer just to trigger people but um yeah the crazy thing is I, I started actually liking uh more soccer after i watched blue lock uh maybe that isn't like the best representation of soccer but you know it, it's been pretty cool it's been pretty cool so far uh even though it's kind of low-key feels like a battle shonen but like packaged in a, in a sports manga or sports anime uh but yeah i don't know but yeah, we're gonna go into the chapters to see who is the very best, who will be the best striker. And let me know if you want to keep seeing reactions, because I'm not sure if people want to keep seeing this or not. But let me know down in the comments down below. But let's stop yapping, let's get into the video. Alright, Blue Lock 232. Um, yeah. Last chapter we saw Borrow was stealing the show. Borrow's my guy, so you know. I ain't mad at that. Uh so but you know, Isak is probably gonna Ret gonna return, gonna do some crazy, gonna maybe awaken a metafission V2, super metafission. I don't fucking know. Metafission god, some Dragon Ball super shit. I don't know what he's gonna do. Uh, but let the games begin. Change, challenge, an egoist autumn. High evolution. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't, I didn't even read the title. I'm talking about fucking Super Saiyan forms. He, he might for real evolve in some shit. Might get fucking different color hair, all that. I don't know. Also, for the people who see this uh, in the raw version, the not edited version on Patreon, let me know what y'all think about this uh, this angle right here, the layout. Let me know what y'all think about it. But uh, let me get into the chapter and let's see what is good. Final kickoff. I wonder if we're just going to see Isagi win because that would, you know, that's just like the most logical explanation. He's the MC. Or are we going to see... Uh, this is gonna be like uh, a twist. Is Borrow gonna be him like that? I said, fuck that, I'm the main character. Let me see, since Yuri possesses him. Oh yeah, Yuri also had Metafission. Also, uh, Nico has it too. Oh damn, okay. Yo, Nico definitely underrated though, I'm not gonna lie. Tell me what you got. Oh, Borrow look like a fucking demon. You know who Borrow reminds me of? I know if y'all watch uh, this cartoon, but Galactic Football. Kind of reminds me of the people with like the I think it was like the smog or something. They had like the powers, bro. That was like my childhood. If you know, you know. Let me know if you know though. Alright, let me see. You blue rose tattoo freak. Damn. Looks like you need to be taken down a peck, you red-headed gorilla. Oh shit, borrow for some Kaiser. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, this guy's pressing it and he pressing the fuck out of you. You never did that until now. If that's the case, my job is to lure them in. Or trap him. At the boy, Ness. Yes, success. Leave the rest to me. Oh, he's attacking straight up the middle? Watch out, Kaiser's coming. Don't let him shoot. Watch the flanks. Kaiser, find it. Oh, my boy activated the fucking sharing on right now. Oh, shit. I only need a ball's width of space. Aim for it. Kaiser Impact. The Yorkie's over there. I force it open. Instant kill. Light lightning strike? What the fuck? Is this a new technique? Yoo-hoo. Damn. Oh, uh, and he fucking up his gold grill, bro. I know that shit fucked up. Second ball. Like Yorkie, within expectations. Run. Get to the ball first. If I can get to it, I have a use chance. I can reach direct. I can reach direct. Shoot -o. Oh, never mind. This motherfucker. Motherfucker Oliver. You know, the only one with the ability, Lil Robber. The annoying son of a. Back, right, right back at you. Weird, weird. See the game just fine. Bro, this is dead as like Naruto where everybody has like fucking powers. Like everybody got the Sharingan. Now everybody got fucking Metavision. I feel like that's the equivalent right here. Nice, Yuri. Too naive. Bitch, I'm a lion. You bench warmy scrub. Uh. Mm, yeah, bro, yeah. I don't know if y'all know that Drake lyric. Uh, what was it again? Uh, 
a bench player like a like starters I hated or something like that. Fuck shit. That's exactly what Borrow doing right now. What the what the Borrow can I think the king himself will help out on defense. Nico, his jobs make make our jobs a hell of a lot easier. Such a pleasant work environment. Banzai responding to Borrow's press with a ruthless coordinated press. Shit, this is bad. For everybody whipping out fucking meta vision, bro. Who doesn't have it? I'm like surprised if somebody doesn't have it right now. Yeah, yeah, he's like, we need something else, bro. Everybody got this already. I can't believe Borrow willingly decided to do the dirty work and play defense from the front. It wasn't thinkable until now. Now that we must account for... Wait, now that we must account for that, our decision making will be one step slower. On the other hand, those guys simply have to play off Borrow and adjust her tactics accordingly, but... Borrows loyalty is only to himself, but this is this bro. Loki Isagi wants this. This is what he wants: a perfect union where a king combines forces with a flawlessly designed army, allowing him to pursue his glory. What are you guys? Some friggin' chimera? <laughs> Feeding of Borrows ego and ideas. Ubers right now are currently undergoing explosive explode evolution. Chora, let's go. But they are on a high alert for your double, not max shot. What will you, what would you like to do? What would you like us to do, Your Royal Highness? Uber totally uberous right now. So, Barwachan, what will you do? Shut up and work. I'm wrapping up my hat trick with a golazo. You're saying Neo, the Neo Ego is league. I'm gonna show the world I'm the best player in the world. Different level. Stop playing with my man. Ubers are so friggin' amazing. They're too fast, too good. I can read them. They haven't gotten into the game at all. So, this is the real stage. Are you telling me Isagi Kun's been constantly aiming for the goal, fighting all these monsters, even Kaiser and Barokun? How did those guys score goals at this level? Everyone out here is a twisted psycho. What is this place? This is the place of egoists. I fucking love it. What I'm talking about the seconds after stepping onto the pitch, Yuri experienced the intensity that emanates from the real stage as the egoist in him roars in the light. Yuri gets into the game, ready to carve out a new destiny. Come, Yuri. This is the first time I've experienced this type of football. Oh, shit. 233 two, keys. I'm assuming Yuri is the key. That's what I'm assuming. I, I might be fucking wrong, but all I know is this is it. That's all I know. Damn, son. Shit. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely think Isagi is, is going to pull through and, and win the game. That's my prediction. I don't know, though. Loki, I want borrow to it. I'm not gonna lie. I'm like high key a borrow glazer. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Number one borrow stand. But uh, I, I wonder. I feel like Isagi might need to like do something new because I feel like the meta vision thing, or he might need to like advance it or something. I don't know. I don't know how else he he's gonna do this because I feel like meta vision is kind of the baseline. I feel like one of the baseline, but kind of like. Then like when you're like in Naruto, you activate the Sharingan. Or you go Super Saiyan, you know? It's not really an attack like that. I feel like you need to have a move. You need to, you need to Kamehameha, you need to Rasengan. If you know, you know what I mean. You need to move. I feel like he might develop something. Or maybe he's going to evolve his direct shot, maybe. But I don't know. I don't know. We are going to see. I have no idea. But yeah, let me know what y'all think of what's going to happen. And uh, I'm going to see you guys on the next chapter. Was good to back with some blue luck 233 last chip. Yori was about to go fucking crazy. Let's see how that's gonna go. Ah, uh, it seems like we're starting off with a little a little flashback with his parents. Are you okay, yo? Is this your precious leg? Is it broken? I can't believe this. Do you know how much time and money we invest into you? At that moment, I realized the parents didn't love me. That's crazy. Great to take as a parent and be like. Are you okay because you are like concerned about the leg like your child is like a product instead of like at your actual child all they cared about was my specs bro they they for bro, they they treated yuri like like yours like a pc like they're only concerned about the the, pro, the g the gpu and the cpu the ram that that's all they care about they only care was up to date ever since that day my passion and added to football before I only I only play football because it made my parents happy, but now I only play football because I don't to break up my family. Damn, that's crazy. Such a disgusting, pathetic reason. I know my attitude towards football is pathetic, but I don't have anything else. 
I can fully devote myself to. I began to go through life trying to find something that could ignite my passion. Huh, boring. All that crap about people, expectations, think about it later. Start with yourself, believe in yourself, believe in myself. Find something that truly gets your blood pumping. If you don't start there, you keep running in circles, idiot. I like how you see like this crow or raven right here and you see Korasu because I'm pretty sure Korasu means crow or raven in Japanese. Because for me, things like expectations are just curses. They're chains weighing me down. I wanted to get away from my parents to get out of that house. I came to Blue Lock totally for that reason. I don't want to go home. I don't want to go home clinging desperately to that ego. I managed to Hang on and survive. Ubers are playing. Shit, stop the counter. At incredible level, so fast. Bro, for a minute I thought he fucking put his hand in his fucking face. He put it on his chest. Yuri Yo. The quality, quality of their combination place. I've never experienced this before. And the fact that Borokun can get the best get the best of out best out of them. King like move. A true king indeed, a true king. But it's not like he's moving selfishly. Borokun, even though he's a selfish dirt jerk, the aura he emanates makes people trust him and follow him. Players who become the world's number one striker. Yes, Boro is making from zero a fucking thousand. Remember Ego was like talking about, like I think one of the first games of Blue Luck where everybody was just going stealing the ball. Actually kind of like the same I think in the beginning of Blue Lock, when he first saw Borrow, everybody was just like stealing each other's ball, giving teammates, and he just like grabbed the ball and like was like, yeah, I'm this is my shit, I'm gonna score, y'all follow me. And but this is like the example at a higher level. Players who become normal striker, they probably have the ability that makes people follow them. Amazing. I can't do that. And the ego that teammates believe, trust and gravitate towards. I'm gonna be the world's best player. I never really cared about being number one. But then I saw him, a player who sees the game as I do, a player with his eyes set being on the world's best player. I have the key to Isagi Yoichi's evolution. Oh shit, motherfucker, like a thunderstone with a Pikachu. Man's gonna transform into Raichu. Oh shit. No. I'm the only one who can unlock his full potential. Never mind. And he is not a thunderstone. He might be fucking, uh, like, like the fucking Elder Kai. I'm gonna make him like, old, like fucking Mystic Gohan. Or some shit like that. If I didn't have, it didn't have come to Blue Lock, none of this would happen. Those golden opportunities that only I can see. They are my reason to fight. Isagi-kun has the potential to become, become the number one striker. But if he failed to capitalize on this golden opportunity, there's a good chance the world will forget about his potential. I will unlock it. Oh, I am the key. A future where Isagi can dominate the world stage. It's a future worth living for. I'll make, Is make Isagi Yoichi the king. W mans. I mean, I guess. Oh, Nico. Boo. Not a fucking chance. Oh, shit. But guys are pulling up, you fell for our little trap, Meta Synchro Twins. What? Shit, in front of the penalty area, borrow. Psych! Idiots, I have Meta Fishing 2, you know, bro. Everybody has Meta Fishing. You get Meta Fishing. You and you, everybody got it. Why you, huh? My ego isn't something that something someone pre planned for me. It's an ego that holds the key to the future, it's an ego I found for myself. Oh shit. Pick it up with perfectly with Isagi's movements. Yuri overcomes his past and forges himself a new ego. As he picks up Lorenzo's past, Yuri prepares to make Isagi shine as king. Put your winning formula, Egoists. I just feel like that has to be read in like some Dragon Ball Z fucking announcer voice. Let's fucking do this, Egoist. Mmm. Pretty sure wait, is, is 234 already out? Let me see if it's already out. Oh, it is. It is, it is, it is, it is. Alright, 234, producer. Shit. I don't know why it's called producer. Is it gonna be Metro booming? I don't know, but we're gonna see. Damn, seriously. Alright. 
Almost all the chaos swirling around the field, Yori sees a path that allows Isagi to score the winning goal as they prepare to hit back on the counter. It's time to show us your winning formula, Egoist. That guy, when did he? If we weren't for him, we would have finished them off. Nice, Yori. By covering my blind spots, he managed to plug the holes in our defense. Let's win this. Yuri, yo. Huh? What's with this guy's dribbling? Even even sharper, there's no margin for error. Think my winning vision with Isagi kun, bro. They are fucking link. They are playing fucking multiplayer, bro. They are split screen co op. Med efficient football IQ direct shot. Isagi kun has many weapons in his arsenal, but without doubt, his greatest weapon is his ability to power his rifles while co continuously fighting inside this twisted, chaotic field. An ability that would have never awakened if he hadn't come to Blue Lock. Foundation of Isagi Kun's ego right now. That ego trying to propel him to the world's best player. And I hold the key to awaken his revolution. The emergence of the next football hero. A hero that would change the history of football. A vision that only I can envision. My originality. That thing that's pushing me forward. The reason why I play football. The foundation of Yori Yo's ego. He is cooking though. He is cooking. Shit. This guy's change of face is fucking nasty. That's what I'm saying. Who is this cyan-headed guy? His techniques are filthy. Shit, I'm wondering yet too. Match producing goals isn't the only way to become an egoist. So you can help me realize that. I'm getting I'm getting into it. I am an egoist who produces the game with his passes. Shit. There, he's gonna make her on direct shoot, right to his feet, lock on. The future Isagi couldn't envision. I mean, wouldn't that be like I don't know, I don't know shit about like like real football, but I'm pretty sure that's more like uh, is that like a middle fielder? I think like I, I like there's a rules. I only know basketball, but I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure a middle fielder is like equivalent of like a point guard, right? It's time to synchronize my vision with his goal. Awesome, Yuri, perfect. Oh shit! End of the line. Okay. In your dreams, Lorenzo. Exactly how efficient it now. Oh crap! Right, the first move was a fake. A true aim was a lefty direct shot. A two-stage attack only so to create enough space to shoot freely. I figured you would do that. I'll be taking this. Oh, this motherfucker, guys, sir. Seriously, this guy. He knew I was going to fake at Lorenzo with my right hand target and targeted the instant I was going to shoot my left. But it's so funny how they're dead ass teammates, but they're like fighting each other. So, <laughs> this block, bro. He's planning on stealing my goal in midair. Not a fucking chance, you fucking hyena. This ball is mine. What the fuck is this? Is this a. F what is this? <laughs> Wait, are they both kicking it at the. Bro, what the fuck is this father and son Kamehameha right here? <laughs> bro. Damn, Burrow. Nice stylish cover. King Broku. Ah, damn it. Because of Kaiser couldn't cleanly strike the ball. I can't believe it. Isagi and I were perfect in sync. But the way Kaiser and Burrow stop it, stop it from scoring, those two moved in a way to surpass our expectations, even though we're playing perfectly. The rate that the rest of the field is evolving. It's faster than a combined decision making. Despite coming up with a proper plan. It's like Yuri failed to come up with a winning goal as a loose ball pours high into the air. They must find another piece that will allow Isagi to fire his rifles. What is the missing piece? For us to dominate this level. We're still one piece short. Damn. And Goliath thought they were going to score. I'm not Goliath. I thought they, thought they were going to score. Okay. There's no new chapter. All right. Two, three, that's no 2 to 4. Um, seems like Yuri is finally realizing, you know what? Fuck the expectations. Fuck that. I'm playing this for myself. And I'm playing the game how I want to play it. He says he wants to dominate by like, you know, passing. I mean, I guess you could, right? Just like making perfect passes to the places uh, people for people to score. I'm pretty sure that's more like a, like a midfielder, I think. But y'all can correct me because I don't know fucking real life football. All my football knowledge. Yes, I'm called football set of soccer. Uh, comes from anime. So not, not the greatest source. But to me, it's pretty good. Uh, y'all go let me know. Uh, but yeah. Uh, bro, this shit is still so crazy. They've, they've really did a fucking father-son Kamehameha moment right here.
bro if, okay if i go if this would have went in i would be like bro what the fuck i'm glad it didn't because that would be kind of weird in my opinion like that would make no fucking sense because like uh, but yeah uh it's it's bro it's it's not looking good it's not looking good bro because like the uber seem to be like perfectly in sync and fucking um these motherfuckers uh fucking bastard munch i forgot forgot their fucking name um are just fighting with are just an internal fucking turmoil they keep they keep fighting in their own team so if you would ask me it seems like uh, ubers might win but you know he's like got meme protagonist power so he will probably win unless you're gonna use this as like a, a lesson for him to learn like yo we need to work together somehow like bro, Barrow has you should figure it out. He has this shit. He is he, he pretty much exactly has like his first blue lock game where he just like took the ball, threw his dominance, boom, everybody's following him. He pretty much has the same thing right now, just on a higher level. Which is pretty dope. But yeah. Uh put down below who you think is gonna win. You think Isaac is gonna win because he's the fucking main character, or you think it's gonna be upset and Barrow with the Ubers are gonna win. Uh they have some type of lesson for Isagi. And uh, yeah, let me know down below what's up. And I'm see you guys in the next chapter. All right, Blue Luck 235. The reason you were bored, I already know what the answer is because the ball is life. You feel me? All right. Score a goal. We're still one piece short. Even with Isagi Yori singing up perfectly, they could not come up with a winning goal. As the ball pops into the air and the chaos intensifies in the field, shows your new winning vision, Egoist. I feel like the the anime would low-key go crazy with a narrator, or am I just crazy? Actually, no, I'm not crazy. Everything is better with a narrator. Get it, loose ball. Kunigami, are you pulling up? Damn. Of course he got it. Not yet. Move. Oliver versus Michael Kaiser. Okay. There. Isagi Yoichi. Oh, he saw some. He saw some. Hold on. Yori. One more. Look at Kutz asking for the ball. He still believes in me. Yes, sir. We got the dynamic duo in this. Okay, we don't, we don't got by trap, but we got Yuri, so okay, we good. You reset our attack, surpass our previous winning vision, create a new attack pattern, surpass the expectation. Isagi couldn't ask for me. Yo, I really wonder how they're going to animate uh, the eyes, bro. The meta vision, I feel like that would look clean with some animation. Can't wait for that. Oh, shit. That's it. Shoot, yo. We expect great things from you. Oh, shit. His monster. Bro's monster. Bro, his monsters are his parents, which is crazy. Become number one. You hear me? Number one. We believe in you. Uh, from the start, my parents keep expectations on me. I hated that. I evocated the bullock to escape those expectations. But right now isn't all I'm doing. Trying to live up to his like, expectations. That's a jury. Oh, shit. He re oh, fuck. He oh, shit. He's having a fucking existential crisis right now what is life but i don't hate these expectations for me so what's the right answer shoot isn't that what the striker is all about hey he is not wrong uh, that's right this is a blue lock the missing piece is my shooting ability to be fair i don't think i've ever seen this better shot and shoot at the goal or am i just crazy yuri look at me no, it's because of Isagi Kun that I managed to get this far. Give it. Shoot. What is the right choice? Believe in yourself. It was me, I was. Fuck it. Shoot that bitch. Find something that truly get your blood pumping. If you don't start there, you'll keep running in circles, idiot. Ah, I get it now. Until now, I never took my future into my own hands. I let my parents decide my future. I blamed them. I ran away when things didn't go right for me. Because if I did that, I wouldn't get hurt. The missing piece. No one will love. Or give crap about me. I was afraid of being alone and abandoned. Man. I'm generally pathetic. I pretend I'm a stoic person. I'm just a cow who keeps running away. Hmm. Yes, accept your inner inner beast. From now on, I won't hide that people's expect but only by your own expectations, bro. What's the matter with other people think you should do? Mess with you think you should do. I'm only gonna believe in myself. Yes, sir, this is what we need. Yo, but this panel looking kind of crazy. If I end up being alone and abandoned after that, it's fine by me. If I truly was born for the sole purpose of playing football, this shot will be my answer. Yori, Orewa, 
Tricada. Oh shit, I like I like the, the the this glass shard right there. I fuck with the face in it. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. He shot it. Oh my, I didn't see that coming. I, why do I feel like it's gonna get blocked? Sando? Hell no. Nah. I haven't seen this man in fucking 30 trappers. Hell no. Nah. Please, please don't stop it. Fuck! Man. Oh, I, shit. I guess the answer is you are not a striker. Damn. God, so close. Nice Sando. Ah, uh, I knew it. I was the person who was born to play football after all. Nice. Oh shit, Isagi is... I'm assuming Isagi is right now in a good position. Like, like uh, in the goal in like under 20 with like luck. I feel like he might be in a good position because of this shot right now. And I feel like he's gonna be in score right now. Nice, Yori. I found it. My ultimate winning formula. What is it? What is it? Fuck, it's the end of the chapter. What is the formula, bro? At the last second, Sendo tips Yori's shot onto the crossbar to keep the game tied at 2. Two to two, even though things haven't gone as planned, he or he may if have given Isagi a clue to his missing piece. Now it's time to take charge of the chaos and score the winning goal with your missing piece, Egoisto. Yeah, we definitely need a narrator, bro. Shit, I could do it. Shit, I could do the narrator. Uh, but yeah, okay. Seems like Isagi's about to cook in an O. The next chapter is called Sayonara. Sayonara. AKA GG. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting from this. Sayonara. He's like he's about to fucking score at his GG right there. Although I wonder what he, he realized. I wonder. Maybe maybe he's realizing he needs to focus more on second chance points, maybe. I don't know. Uh maybe or maybe just placing himself in the right spots, like with the luck thing, but like just trying to replicate it a bit more. I don't know. I guess uh we're gonna see what Isagi has realized in the next chapter of Blue Luck. It's time for Blue Luck 236. It's called Sayonara. It's not carb. Oh fuck, my bad. I want to say it's not carbonara, but it's Sayonara. Let's see what's good. Yori you, you thought, yo, this man. I, I was kind of rooting for him. I go lie. Yori, I was like, yo, you, bro. This man heard like the 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 blue lock TikTok song playing in his mind. You know what I'm saying? And he was like, yo, Uri was strikada. But then he realized, shit, maybe I'm not a striker. Because motherfucker missed that. But, we're going to see. It seems like our boy Isagi has something in his back, though. Okay, but let's start with this chapter. I guess I was the person who was born to play football. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> I need my narrator voice right now. Being a shot blocked by Sendo, Yuri's ego shatters. Believing he's the player born to play football. Yuri. What the fuck does that say? Things in dark into darkness. However, Yori's shot makes Isagi feel he has found the answer to scoring the winning goal. Will Isagi's ray of hope save Yori? Find out in the next episode of Dragon. I mean Blue Lock. Okay, let's see. Yori, yo, I suffered so much, experienced so much frustration. I tried so hard to believe that was pl that, that play football was my purpose. Nah, bro, I feel that. Though. Imagine like yeah, you're trying to like because I feel like this, this shot right here was really trying to solidify his like identity. Then he missed it, it was like, boom. Everything was shattered right there. Oh. But that shot told me I wasn't worthy. But I'm okay with it. After I go home, I tell my folks, I'm done with football. Gave it my all. I can move on with no regrets. Thank you, Blue Lock. I can finally say goodbye to football. Yori. The side is like, nah, bruh. I ain't done with you yet. Pause. One more. Eh? Isagi kun Go Ubers, initiate counterattack design. Son of a... We're stopping them here, bastard. So he can still believes in me. Why? Instead of passing to him, I decided to shoot. I betrayed him. Nah, bro, he was a striker. He's like, I get you, bro. I'm a shooter too. You feel me? Why are you still believing in me? Don't look. Don't even think. Go crazy, Yori. Surpass our wildest imagination. Instinctively. Reflexively. Oh, he's looking fucking crazy. Eh, hey, reflex? Thinking reflexively, the same advice I once gave to Isagi Kun. Yes, sir. It's always, it's always, bro, it's always so easy to give advice to others to do stuff. We usually give like the good, correct answer, but like it's usually the same stuff you don't do yourself. It's just so easy to like give others advice, just not following your own advice. But why now? I, what does he mean? I don't get it. 
I don't get it, but why every single time, every single time, I want to meet Isagi kun's expectations of me. Remember, yo. Number 11. Always aim for number 11. <laughs> Amazing. That's our Yo-chan. If Yo can become the best player in the world, then I want to divorce every single one of my parents' expectations. I feel like this is this time this time it's more of a, a positive expectation in a sense because he believes in him as a player instead of just like his parents shoving their dreams onto him type shit i feel like that's the difference right here every single one of my parents expectations were always focused on my physical specs my human side but it's like it's different it's like it's expectations aren't focused on the human side the things that can change through actions his expectations are super goal oriented especially goals that have the power to change his destiny Ever since he arrived at Blue Luck, Isagi Kun has been searching for comrades who can help him to achieve that reality. Yeah, bro, my boy is, bro, I don't know, bro, if Isagi was a fucking PC, he's he's at like Windows fucking 95. Actually, wait, that's a ter terrible analogy because we now, have, okay, that's a terrible analogy. Not Windows 95 because I'm pretty sure with 98 was the first, I think. Because right now we are 11, yeah, he's, he's at least a 25. He's at least a 25 right now. That's why everyone... Not so fast, King Wu. Gets drawn to Isagi Yoichi's ego. We trap him, mud boat. Gets drawn to Isagi Yoichi's ego and not get devoured by him. Tss. Getting in my way. You good for nothing, scrubs. They evolve at explosive rate. Yo, a squiddy guy, I'm gonna block it with his face right now. Right back at you, you redhead fucking gorilla. What the? Yeah, fuck that. Yes, sir. Nice Kunigami. W. W save. W save. W save. Shut up. Not like, I did it for you, Isagi. Yo, that's a hell of a Sundre response right there. Damn it. Get the loose ball. What the hell? Just when I thought I could move on. Nah, buddy. You're wearing number 23. I know this ain't basketball, but number 23, you feel me? Gotta pull through. Just when I thought I could fully, I could finally go home and play video games. <laughs> okay, Nagi. Look at him hopped. Nice, Gagamaru. I was ready to quit football. Finished them off already, egoist. I already knew. I already knew it. The fact that Blue Luck is fucking twisted. It's impossible. That pass won't cut it. Seriously, that kind of shit pass won't lead to a goal unless I'm there to get it. Sugikun, you bastard. Let's go, Yuri. Oh, fine. You're you're on egoist. But after this, I'm done. This will be my last attack. That crazy twisted ego of yours. <laughs> Alright, wait, narrative voice, narrative voice. Path to victory runs through Yuri. If this is your last attack, go all in and sync up with your partner's ego. Ego is to. Alright, let me see. The next chapter is called The Center of the World. Oh, we got a color panel too. Oh, this shit look clean. Bro, this, uh, bro, I, bro, I know the fucking meta, the meta vision eyes are gonna look so clean in the anime, bro. My god. My god. Okay. Well, guys, that was chapter 236. Fuck. My bad. <laughs> it, uh, it seems like Yori is having a damn identity crisis on the field. Um, I don't think Yori is gonna quit after this. I think he's gonna realize, wait, I don't have to play football for my parents, and maybe, like, maybe he's not a striker. Maybe he's like another position, like a middle fielder or something. Like, bro, I like I don't know real life fucking football, right? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm call it football instead of soccer, but like I don't know <laughs> how it works. I only know everything I know from like this sport is like from anime, and that's like with most sports except basketball, I guess. But I think he might just find another position to play because I don't think. I think, uh, I think for what I know at least, he's more like maybe a uh, fucking, like a, like a, like a mid, like a fucking, what's called like middle, like a, like a middle fielder type, type player, instead of a striker. Um, someone who just sets people up. I think he might just find a different role, like Gagomaru, like this man was not originally fucking a goalkeeper, but this man just got, put, just got put there and apparently has like the good specs and good skills for that position. So, I mean, I feel like that might be the case, because even though he missed that shot, it just not not might not, 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 not might be his thing to be a striker, and they're gonna fight a different purpose, and he's gonna be like, you know what? I'm gonna still play football, but just for me, um, and you know, try to help Isagi out, kind of like the the bachelor role in a way, but like uh, less egotistical. 
Ah, uh, well, yeah, I don't know if it would be less egotistical. Because Butcher, of course, you know, yeah, ego is too. Or maybe he's going to find a different type of ego for himself. Uh, but yeah, I guess we're going to see that uh, in the next chapter. Maybe not. Because this, bro, this game is... Bro, how many chapters has this game been going on? This seemed, this game seemed like going on forever so far. But I'm not mad, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad to see Burrow again. But uh, guys, let me know what y'all think. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Uh, what's Jory going to do? I think he's just going to be playing and just maybe play another position at least. But I'm see you guys at the next chapter. Uh, it's time for some Baru Roku. Chapter 237. Center of the world. So, uh, Yori was like cooking, but like, but he thought he was cooking like real crazy, but I saw him turn off the stove and then he missed a shot. So let's see what's going to next. But this man, kind of crazy. He like missed so bad he was about to quit. It was a crazy miss though. Uh, but let's see if he's gonna, if, if Isagi reignited his spark for Saka or football. Let's see. Coming up with a huge stop is now Basra Munchen on the attack. In a game full of counterattacks, will be this will this be the moment? Will this be the final counterattack? Yuri, yo, you crush him here. High press, trap the sign. Let's do this, Nico chan. Just shut the fuck up, you dumbasses. Wait, did he heal tap that bitch? Wait, did he heal tap that? Take your precious little Design a shove it up your okay. Motherfucker, okay, he'll flick up. Keep up, Yuri. Who the hell do you think you're ordering me? Whoa, who the hell do you think you are ordering me around? If it weren't for me, you wouldn't be able to impact the game, asshole. Oh, the ego is coming out. Nah, sexy, huh? A rainbow flick one, two? Nah, that's crazy. What else up with this cyan head guy? He's still good. That does it. After this match, I'm quitting football. Every day, I quit playing football. I'm a fucking quit. Cap, you are cooking way too much. Yo, nutmeg? Damn it, what the hell am I doing? Running around like a crazy maniac. What is this feeling? Is it because of Isagi Kun's nosiness, kindness, friendship? Definitely not. I don't give a fuck about that. Okay, uh, that's what he wanted. I know it doesn't say, but that's what he wanted to say. That's what he wanted to say. If I'm being frank, the only thing I care about is seeing whether Isagi Yoichi is the real deal. If I hold the key to becoming the best, then I want to experience the moment the world changes around me. What the hell? I can't believe it. I had this much of a greedy ego. Oh shit. The ego has been unleashed. This is the first time my mind and body are in perfect sync when playing football. Oh yeah, that's kind of crazy. He's never like fully been in sync. And now the, the puzzle pieces are clicking. We're not putting squares in circles no more. The triangle is fitting the triangle shape. Uh, so this is how it feels to believe in yourself. Quit football. Yukimiya. Okay. Well, in 38 meters. No. I can, del I can deliver it if he get behind the defense. I'm still not in range to deliver the final pass. We still haven't broken down the defense. But this might be the perfect timing. No, we're still too far. He still does have, has to have shaken off his marks. In that case, what's the best option? Stop. Why the hell did you stop? Keep moving, goddammit. How am I supposed to pass to you if you stop, idiot? You want me to go rogue and selfishly go for the goal, asshole? What the hell is he thinking? What are you? Hold on. Don't look. Don't even think. Surpass or wildest imagine instinctively. Yeah. Reflexively. Ah, that's right, Yuri. Realize it. So that's your plan, that maniac. Wait, can he even pull it off? No matter how you look at it, this is crazy. Sense it. Right now, the field's blind spot. It's possible, theoretically. Come on, Yuri. All right, you arrogant bastard. Let's do this. Egoisto. Dun, 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 dun. No, it's not a team song starts playing. I know you can do it. Yuri, yo. What the fuck is this? I see fucking, bro, glass and puzzle pieces flying. What is this? Yuri, yo, will become the center of the world. What the fuck is he about to do? Even Burrow is like, what the fuck? What the fuck is he about to do, bro? He's about to... Some crazy shit right now. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, Kunigami's also here. I forgot about him. <laughs> His buddy's waiting for him to deliver the final pass. As the players gather in front of the Uber's goal, it's time to follow your ego. Go all in and bring this fantastic match to its end. He accelerated. I can stop him in a 1v1. In that case, we gotta jump him. My job has slow Hurricane's attack. Right now, Isagi Yoichi is playing off Yuri's movements to receive the final pass. 
but I wanted Isai to move really. Aiming for the chaos created by those two, predicting the trajectory of Yori's pass. This guy's intent on forcibly snatching the winning goal. Don't take your eyes off Kaiser. Kill Yuichi. This man fucking Yuri is cooking so fast, right? Oh, left. Pass hard open. That's coming. No, this guy looking at the ball. He's only, he's planning on shooting it himself. How selfish. That's what Blue Luck is about, right? Oh, wait. Fake? Fal fake? A faint? Huh? Paint, what the hell is this guy planning? How fucking predictable. In the end, you're just gonna pass. There, the pass shot sealed off. Without Isagi, you're just an insignificant lackey. Too weak to fight for himself. Too slow, dumbass. Uh, <laughs> Borotani got it, but no. Shit, he, he, had, he had another trap card laying down, bro. He's like, oh, you, you thought you got me? But I got this. Exodia. No, not Exodia. I can already see he's like he's scoring the winning goal. Huh? Yoichi? Yeah? This guy, is, he's not... This guy... He's not... What is he? What is he not? What the fuck is going on? They aren't even looking at each other. But they are using some fucking crazy... I don't know. The eye powers are fucking aligning with each other. I don't know what the fuck going on. No way, no way, boy. Are there egoists? Are you there, Egoisto? Bro, they are using the fucking Egoist Discord server to connect. If you're the real deal. If we are the real deal. By clashing and crossing our visions of becoming the best player in the world. Oh shit! Orewa! Trikada! Nah, this look hard as fuck. I need to see this pedal color, bro. This look hard as hell. Bam! We can even go beyond our wildest dreams. Hey, man. Hey, Batra, bro. You are unnecessary right now. You, you, you have been replaced, my guy. Yuri is the new Batra, bro. Because what the fuck is this pass? Nah, this is crazy. Crazy close. Everybody's assuming Yuri was like trying to do some shit. But how the hell did he even get that through there, bro? That is crazy. Let's see. What the fuck? Lefty. Nah, that's crazy. That's crazy as fuck. Nah, this, bro, I need I need a color panel of this, bro. This looks so hard. Bro, I can already see this in the anime. Bam! Nah, bro, I need the fucking blue look item. I need it, bro. I need it. I need it. I need it. Uh, but damn, let's see. Uh, this is... Uh, this is going to be the next chapter. Isagi, bro, Isagi's fucking price is going gonna go up. Yuri too. This man is definitely gonna go up in. I forgot what his current price at, but he, bro, he's definitely up in price. Shit, bring the bring trucks for Isagi, bro. And I know Kaiser is mad as fuck. I just know it. Look at him. He tried. He tried to get it. He mad as hell. I just know, dude. Next chapter, we're gonna see Kaiser mad as fuck. I already know it. I already know it. Uh, I'm gonna see you guys next chapter when we're gonna see Kaiser mad as fuck probably. And some celebrations. See you guys in the next chapter of Blue Lock. Ore was the right card. Chapter 239. So fucking Isagi, the price has gone up. Pay that man. He needs the max contract. He needs, uh, bro, I don't know how the fuck it works with football or soccer or whatever, but he needs, he needs the money. 239 creation. <clears throat> Hold on, let me get my announcer voice on. The game's hero is Isagi. As Isagi shot, smashes into the back. Oz of the net, the world's world erupt as they witness the hero who conquered the chaos and established himself as the game's king. Find out in the next episode. Okay, no, it's not the next episode because we're right here. Golazo! What a magnificent strike. The hero of this match is Isagi Yoichi. Orewa Strikada! That, that's what he's saying right here. I just know it. That, he's not yelling. He's saying, Orewa Striker. Amazing. What's with those two? They're twisted. I can't believe it. No, it's theoretically possible, but I can't believe it. For, it, for this to work, those two at that moment, those two, those two synced up without even making eye contact. 
bro they linked up via meta meta vision bro metaverse but the thing is you got it too but you weren't in the discord server bro you had no perms yeah that was a difference that's tough it's impossible unless those who sync stuff synced up perfectly their thought process the things they saw on the field everything needed to be in sync bro i told you they sharing screens bro they shared the screen in the voice chat and they could see everything ah we've got destroyed by those two an attack that surprised any perfect design we could have created bro i know borrow bro where's bro i know he's mad as hell i just know it trying a winning vision that surpasses logic and theory it was a risky gamble for them to pull it off in this do or die situation we you gotta tip your cap off to those crazies they were the heroes of this match yeah that goal just now was worth a hundred million okay like i said i borrowed mad as hell i just i just i just do it i got i gotta feel it yeah bro I, bro those highlights those little streaks ain't working you might have to go like full red or some shit bro super saiyan god type shit you might need to dye your hair like completely red for, for like your next form that, that might be the wave or, or just cut it all off and get like a boozy fade. I don't know, bro. What was that? Just now. They didn't even make eye contact, huh? There's no way they could sync up like that. Disgusting. That kind of chemical correction is fucking disgusting. That, the essence. But is, but is that the essence? Well, why? But is that, really, I can't speak. But is that the essence? The magic of UH's football? Yo, Kaiser, bro. Kaiser is so mad. This man is fucking morphing into, bro. This dude look like fucking... What the fuck is his name again? What is his name? Also, Borrow? In like fucking One Punch Man, he's like kind of looking like that fucking dude. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. You, you know what I mean. The dude from One Punch Man, the fucking villain dude. He kind of look like that. Also kind of look like he's going Super Saiyan. This is no... This is no... Bro, this is no... This is how you know somebody is mad. All fucking black, white... Bro, he's not even... Bro, I can't even see who this is. That's how mad he is. Michael Kaiser. The dap up. I wonder, do they have like custom like handshakes like in, like in football? I don't know, like basketball players like dapping, you know what I'm saying? They have custom dap ups. They, they, I feel like they should have like a custom dap up with the way they got like connection, you know? You know? You're amazing. You're respected of my buddy. I'm not your buddy, pal. Your shot gave me the inspiration. If we use your shot as a decoy, we could create a split second opening if we had complete trust in each other. I thought we would see the same winning vision. Thanks for tagging along with my selfish demands, Yuri. Expectations. I never thought you could use expectations like this. Huh? It won't work even if both parties understand each other and play off each other. And it's not about one person who hardly supporting the other's demands either. Golazo! The partnership can only work if both parties believe the other sees the same winning vision. When I realized that I could play freely, a whole new world opened before me. So thanks, Isagi-kun. You brought me out of my cage. Yeah, let's do this until we become the best players in the world. Nah! I won't play this kind of tag team football with you anymore. From now on... I'm gonna play a brand of football that will produce the best striker in the world. Oh shit, he snaps. He created a monster. Yuri, you tweaking. To be honest, I was planning on quitting after this match, but after being a part of that goal, after experiencing that thrill, that ego, there's no way in hell I can quit, idiot. If strikers can't understand and keep up with my passes, I discard it without a second thought. That goes for you to Isagi-kun. If this dude just became a fucking egoist passer, that's crazy. Egoist playmaker. Huh. Why you little brat? Could try to recalm the meaning. You're quite a sadist, aren't you? Huh? What you talking about? I'm an ultra sadist. From now on, my life will revolve around me. Nice to meet ya. Oh, he, he fucking trend. He got unlocked. Fucking potential unleashed. Some Dragon Ball Z shit. 3 to 2 game over GG. Oh, PXG versus Manshine City. Oh, yeah, Rin is playing there. 
Yo, Rin look like a fucking demonic entity, bro. What the fuck? Huh? He trapped that? Stop him, Nagi. Damn it, this guy's a fucking monster. Poor Shrank, body balance, trapping, dribbling, shooting. This bastard has all his fucking specs. Have evolved beyond comprehension. Yo, he got 90, he's a 99 overall right now. Hey, no way, boy. Prepare yourself, Isagi. I'm gonna fucking destroy you. Pause. Come on, bro. Hey, no way. They got cooked. Yo, they got cooked, bro. Hey, no way, Nagi. Come on, bro. Aren't you like the fucking genius? Well, the, what, three to one is crazy, my boy. Doug, bro. <laughs> Y'all got cooked. Man. Yo, Rin is, bro, Rin is in his fucking villain arc. I feel like, I feel like Rin went on like two villain arcs. This is like the second, the second time. I feel like usually you have like one villain arc, but like, I feel like the first villain arc started when his brother was like, you know what? I'm being a midfielder. I feel like it was like the first villain arc. And this is, I think, is this even a villain arc? I feel like this is like someone even more deeper than that. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> bro, what is this? I don't even know what he is, bro. This is like the fucking super villain arc. This is what this is. 99 overall. Spent all the points. I wonder if that going to be the next match. TXG versus Bastard Munchen or is it going to be another match? I got the chapter. The next chapter is called Triple Jump Up. I don't know why it's called that, but I guess we're going to see it in the next chapter. Blue Lock 2 4D. Triple Jump Up. I don't know what that means. Itoshi Rin wraps up his spectacular performance with a, sh a scintillating hat trick. A what? I just be making up words. A, sh a scintillating? Ain't no way that's a word. Hold on, I'm googling that shit. There's no way that shit is a word. I've never, I've never seen it in my life. Scintillating? What the fuck does that mean? Hold on. They, what the fuck? Scintillating? What the fuck is that? I don't even know what that word means, bro. There's no way it is a real word. It is a real word. What the fuck? Sparkling or shining brightly. Bri brilliantly and excitingly clever. Okay, scintillating is the real word apparently. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. I've never seen someone describe something as scintillating. I don't even know if pronounce it right, but whatever. Uh, anyway, Itoshi is doing some watch That's anyway, that's, that's pretty much what he's saying. He he, he wilding out. But that is big because he steamrolls Manshine City 3 to 1. Hey, Itoshi Rin, you keep on getting stronger and stronger. Amazing. What drives you to become even stronger, bro? Nagi, bro, stop looking up to him, bro. You, you are supposed to be him. Fuck going on. You have your, you have your own spin-off series, the, bro. Hello? Huh? You already know, idiot. I'm literally Sasuke Uchiha. I need revenge in my life. It's to surpass Itoshi Sai and to destroy Isagi. I see. But what happens when you accomplish all that? What do you do then? Hell, I, if I care, idiot. What kind of baby thinks... Thinks about dying when they are immediately born. Once we are born, there's only one thing to do: survive. It's a matter if there's a heaven or hell. Well, actually, once you're born, you might need to survive sometimes. You know, depending on the situation. But when we are born, we're not meant to survive. We're, meant, we're supposed to live. They're different, different from survival, bro. In my football fantasy, I dictate everything. I was sent them straight to hell. All those people who stand before me with look with a lukewarm attitude. Got that? I won. Let's see who scores the most goals. Yep, Angola, Isagi, Isa, 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 hey. Yo, Kaiser, hey, bro. They ain't on your team no more, bro. They requested trade. I fucking won this match. My bet with Kaiser at this moment. I surpassed. Attention, please, both match 5 and 6 of the new Egoist League, league have now finished. With that in addition, broadcasting the results to everyone simultaneously. We now move on to the auction rankings. Here it comes. Oh, fuck. <laughs> He's like, shit, my shit gonna go down. That's quick as hell, though. You currently, 29 players have received bids from various clubs. Without further ado, the players ranked 24 to 29 are. Let's see what's going on. Alright, Suntet seeing that hoe. I have no idea who the hell the other people are. I did not recognize Suntet's. Alright. Oh, I made it. Oh, that's this dude. Okay, okay, solid, solid. Now, uh, top 23. Remember, top 23 players will be selected to represent Japan in the under 20 club. Let's see. Corona, Gagomaru, okay. 
Miko Shido, Kawasu Otoya, Sendo. Sendo? Fuck Sendo doing it there. Yori, Raichi, the Rahiyate, Tokimitsu. Oh, wait, this is the. Okay, this is 12 to 23 hours. Okay, that makes sense. Hold on, Raichi? Bro, I still have. <laughs> Hey, right, you need to show you need to do some more, bro. You you don't really show that yet. Alright, solid. Oh uh, mini up up. 20 mil, huh? I guess that's good for now. Let's see, seven Nagi IQ. Oh shit. My buddy Oliver. I I, I know Oliver was hooping like that. I don't know. Nagi IQ Rail Yukimiya. Are you okay? Solid. No, the unveiling of the place rent in the top eleven. Yeah, why is our value lower than last time? Well, can't be helped. We were trash today. I mean, shit, I guess, you know. It's, it was kind of tough. Instead of like, usually your performance would be graded like per season, I guess per game in this case. Shit, the hell of pressure right there. We need to, we need gloves to increase our value. Switch gears and like, you're gonna, we're gonna wild next game. Yeah. Well, Kunigami is number five. Come on, stop tagging along with me. Wait, what the fuck? How are you? Wait, two number fives? That makes no okay. All right. Shit, I, I, shit, I guess they're top ten at least, though. Bachra 4 ayo. Bachra been balling out, though. I can't lie. He, he, he going crazy. And the player is currently in the top three. In third place, Baro Shohei. My guy. My guy in the top three. I know he met as fuck as he ain't one. I, I just know it. I just know it. In second place, tripling his previous value 50 million. Isagi Yoichi. Yeah, Isagi Yoichi balling the fuck out. And Rid is number one, of course. 150 million, but and the current number one, the superstar who just scored a hat trick in the last match, Adinis, Itoshi Sai's younger brother. Bro, why you glaze it? You, this, that is the craziest glaze ever. Bro. Ain't no way. Hold on, let me see something. Let me see something. And bro, this bro, the fucking announcer didn't say shit for any other players. Not even the top two or three. Fucking Itoshi comes around, and this man started the, gl the glaze of hell right here, bro. Number one superstar, bro. You just be like, this is the number one. Stop glazing like that, bro. Itoshi win one one eighty. You're always one step ahead of me, surpassing me, always standing in my way. Rin! This is Justin. Michael Kaiser has also received a new offer. The Spanish Giants, La Real, has offered Michael Kaiser a bid of 320. Yeah! La Real, damn, seriously? The same club Itoshi size in. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know he's going to be mad. The strongest club in the world. He's prepared to steal Kaiser away from Bastard Munchen. Please go. Please don't stay in this fucking team, bro. K Kaiser, you did it. You're one step close to becoming the best striker in the world. It was worth playing in the Nigo Egoist League. Kaiser. But he's, not, he's probably not gonna go because he lost against Isagi. He probably is gonna be like, hell no. Kaiser will become Larios A. Shut up. Ness, you fucking idiot, huh? I don't care about 20 million. I don't care about Lariel. Right now, I'm trash. A player who's inferior to Yoichi. There's no way in hell I'm gonna let it end like this. Yup, the ego, I will destroy Isagi. Bro, there are like 50 people trying to fucking box Isagi right now. To the world, I'm only worth half as much as Kaiser, even less, to be honest. And I couldn't even surpass Rin to them. I'm only second. The match against Peak G is my last match. My last chance to surpass those two. I'm done playing second fiddle to you monsters. But I want this the throne to become the best player in the world. Holy fuck. Final match. Nah, they're gonna go fucking crazy. Yo, Isagi only like getting more ops as he like goes stronger. <laughs> Everybody trying to fuck him up right now. Hmm. How oh, is this gonna go? It would be nice if like fucking Michael Kaiser would just fuck off to another team. So he's like, you know what I'm saying? Because bro, they're literally fighting mid-match. That's fucking crazy, so... Like, imagine you're just trying to, like, win, and you're just, like, fighting mid-match to, like, show you're better, but also, like, win the game. Like, bruh. I feel like if one of them would just leave, they, the whole team has, has, like, better chemistry. Kind of, like, in, like, the Ubers, how they have it with Borrow, how Borrow is, like, the leader, and everybody is, like, support, supporting around him. I feel like that would be uh, the best way to play instead of, like, 
fighting each other or they need to like coexist but they do not want to coexist or i mean i guess this is kind of like more blue lock-esque and like devouring each other while playing pause so I, I guess that makes sense bro this man Ness is also bro this man this man gotta be a bigger glazer than the commentator or the announcer dude whatever there's no way La Real. Is that supposed to be Real Madrid, I guess, I'm assuming? La Real, Real Madrid. Oh, that makes sense. Like, I don't know, I don't know shit about real-life soccer, so, or, or football, so, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just asking. But 320 mil, wait, hold on, I just realized a 320 mil? Like, can I get that right? <laughs> yeah, me personally, I'm signing that whole 320? <laughs> I'm signing that motherfucker. Also, I don't know how much he makes right now, but I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure he doesn't make 320 mil. I'm signing that motherfucker. I'm signing that shit, bro. I don't know. Like, in the basketball world, there is, like, debate which you rather, like, win a championship or get a max contract. Hey, me personally, shit, I'm getting a fucking max contract. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, that's me personally. Let me know what y'all would do. I'd rather win a championship or get a max contract. And I'm talking about max contract. I'm talking about 100 million plus. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's that, that, say the 320 was a max contract. Shit, I'm taking that, bro. Fuck a championship. That's me personally, though. You know, you're not, gonna, you're, gonna, you're not gonna be an athlete forever. But I guess, you know, this in this series, it's all about ego, feeding the ego. So how can you feed the ego the best is by winning. So I guess, you know, that is me, though. But yeah, that, that's it for chapter 240. Uh, yeah, definitely can't wait to see uh, what the fuck I just fucked the whole thing. Okay, I'm back. I definitely can't wait to see how this is gonna end. Also, bruh. I need, I need, bro, you have a whole spin-off, my boy. I need, I need something more out of you. You have a whole spin-off for real. There, there's no reason why you have a spin-off and not, and not cook. You better turn up. To be fair, he was going crazy with like five folly thingy, but I'm, I'm need a little bit more, bro. I can't have, I, I can't have you, bro, on the ground, face down, sweating, looking up to somebody, bro. I need you to step your game up, my boy. Nagi, Nagi's really one of my favorite characters, though. I really like his, uh, the way he plays. But, yeah. Uh, I feel like we're just gonna go into a Rin versus fucking Isagi battle with Kaiser fucking fucking breathing down his neck. Probably Burrow as well. Uh, and I love Burrow. Uh, but yeah, he was he definitely was shining too. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Also, I'm pretty sure they did say this is the last one. Uh, wait, let me see. Let me see what it, what it, what it say in the last panel. Despite increase their value of the remains, the stage is set for the epic showdown between the two unbeaten teams, PSG and Bastard Munchen. Oh, yep. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if they're immediately going to start in 241, or they're going to have some, some stuff in between. I don't know. But that match definitely is probably going to go crazy. And damn, I cannot wait for the anime to return. I need to see them IFX animated, man. I need it. But yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next chapter. Time for some more blue luck. Last chapter. This is what happened here. Talking about it when I get the throne or some, even though we're playing fucking football, aka soccer. Talk about they want to be kings, become the best. You don't want to be a second option, you want to be the first options. They would be the worst big three ever if they were all on one team. They would be the worst team ever, bro. Alright, so let's see. Let's go to 241, next chapter. Let's see what it's called. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, goddamn. Okay. Takuan and Nato. What? Match seven. Okay, so we got Spain versus France. England versus Italy. Hmm. Are we in, back in Germany? Looks like we're on. We're the ones sitting out for this round. What do you mean by that? While the other teams battle each other. Oh, oh that's what I mean. Valuation 20 M's. You already got 20 M's on his head. While the other teams battle each other, we use the, the time to train and level up. Our final match is against PXG. And for that, the new ego, we egoist lease will end. Will end. Oh my god, I can't read. The match against PXG is her last chance to show her worth. Why is my value lower than Hiori's? I'm not pissed at all though. Despite what you're saying, you look oddly satisfied with yourself. Dude can't hide the fact that he's super high, but he got an offer. He's like, hey man. Yeah, I should be should be acting out, but I'm I'm high key, high key mad at shit. I got something, something better than nothing. 
Just the Yurikun. Your assist to Saki Cruz absolutely sick. Did something happen? Kinda. I finally bought in the blue lock mentality. I want to produce the world's strongest striker. I want to play football alongside players who can understand my passes. Ever since I got this mentality, I'll discard any player who's too stupid to understand my passes. Y'all got that? Whoa. How scary. Just now, you sounded like Itoshi Sai. Nah, not eh, a little bit. A little bit. Ito Itoshi is a little bit more Sasuke. I know, right? Despite that cool persona, deep down, this guy is an ultra sadist. Ultra sadist. Ultra sadist. Hmm, you're gonna be playing as a playmaker now? Guess that means you are dead as a striker. Okay, I guess he's just trying to play uh, midfield. Whatever, you guys. At least I'm not getting roasted over social media like he's sucky good. Oh no, Twitter got him. Ain't no way. The Twitter demons got him. Huh? Why? Here are some comments from our match against Ubers. Isaki Yoichi is the future of Bastard Munchen. Best Bastard's best future frontline is Isaki Yoichi and Maisel Kaiser, two top tandem. Even though they are still immature, costly fighting and, and getting in each other's way. If if those two manage to, to understand the sync up with each other, they could potentially become the most lethal striker duo in the world. Nah, this ain't Twitter. Twitter would be more disrespectful. This, this is like Facebook or something. No fucking way. Absolutely no fucking way. Uh, they got a point. You two are buddy buddy with each other. Shut up, Raichi. No way in hell is that happening. That's so disgusting. I'd rather die. A team with a piece of shit. Die is crazy, though. I'm not gonna lie. Rather die? Shit, I'll just get the bag. Come on, don't be like that. Aisagi is the trendiest blue lock topic. Aisagi is crazy. We Ain't no way they ship it right now. There is no way. You want to hear more? The Neo Egoist League's best couple is crazy. <laughs> nah. Shut up, Yuri. Cut it out, you stupid ultra sadist bastard. You hate it that much? Nah, it's like that, right? Where he pretends he hates it, but secretly so. He is Sundre. They're saying he's a Sundre. That's what, they, that's what they're saying right now. See ya. See ya. I'm going to do some individual training. So see ya, guys. He's got a point. I still need to level up and move up in the rankings. True. My auction value isn't at a level where I can kick back and relax. If you don't finish in the top 23, all the hard work will have been for nothing. See ya, Isagi. See ya. That's right. Just one more match. All of us have our own goals and objectives. Hey, Isagi, you got a sec? Uh, sure. What's up? No, no, no valuation. Shit. Undrafted. I'm still confused. Why the fuck is man is still here? Like that ass. What's up? Well, I mean, you know, well, you know, so, you know I'm, I'm kind of trash. I need some help, like Haiki. I haven't played in the match, right? My Vero still zero, right? What do I need to do to survive? Uh, bro, I ain't gonna lie, shit. <laughs> you made it pretty far, bro. I feel like it's up right now. I mean, if I can't play in the next game, then I'm finished, right? Even though I'm trying my best, I can't catch up to the rest of you guys. I know I gotta force my way to the lineup, but everyone keeps getting bigger and bigger offers. So do you have any advice for me? I'm begging you, I need some advice from the great Isagi Yoichi-sama. Sorry, man, I got nothing. Are you kidding me? I got nothing is the best you can come up with? Come on, bro. Think, God, let me think. Cut out. Cut it out. I'm thinking. But I have nothing concrete to give you. That's what I told you. I have nothing. Hey, Igaguri, what's your reason for playing football again? To get out of taking over a family's temple? It's like, shit, I, I try to take over the family business. That's why I'm balling out here. Yeah, I mean, but that kind of reason compared to... To you and the other guys aiming to be the best player in the world, my reason for playing football is inferior. Maybe I need to change my target to becoming the world's best player. Isn't your reason enough, huh? Me, everyone else, heck, probably most people can only focus on and pursue achievable realistic short-term goals. Achievable realistic short-term goals? Yeah, you can compare your goals with other people's. Pursuing your goals to the fullest, that's the foundation of our ego, an ego that is unique only to you. Yo, Isa Yo, Isagi is chatting right now, but, he, but he's spitting, I ain't gonna lie. That's when I can take over your family's temple. That's one heck of an ego. You got Igaguri, don't lose all of it. Eh? If you're saying that, I kind I can't, I know what to do. At least stop flopping, bro. I start actually trying to do something, bro. Please stop flopping. Eh, but I haven't told you about my suggestions regarding trading and stuff, though. Nah, I'm good. I'll think about what type of trading works for me. Thanks, Isagi. Namusan. To be honest, we met before the survival game of tag. I never thought you would become a player rolled a hundred milli. Stop playing with me, bro. I got a hundred milli on my dome. You're amazing, Isagi. You're freaking amazing. I admit it. 
I admit it, Kakarot, you are better than me. This is like the very bootleg version of that. If you watch DBZ, you know what I mean. But this is like very, very budget a bootleg version. Wait, hold on, let me actually up this size shit a little bit. Yeah, it is better. Yeah, it is better. What are you all of the sudden? Hey, bro, you yeah, why are you glazing me? Why are you glazing me, bro? Hate to admit it. I know because we started at the bottom too, Mr. 299. You're definitely on the path to becoming the best player in the world. For all time's sake. You want some of my Takwan? I no way unless you want to trade for that for my Nato. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember, I remember again. I didn't know I actually don't know what the fuck Tuck. I know what Nato is, but I don't know what the fuck Tuck. I don't know. I pass. I never had Nato, but like I, I feel like a lot of people like 50-50 on it. Some people hate it, some people love it. I don't know. It's like from minute sway beans or something. I, I would try it. I would try, but it kind of looks crazy. Germany system. Uh, uh, Michael is mad as shit. Came to the new egoist league to surpass Noah Noah. Bastard Munch's first team is a squad designed to maximize Noah's strength. With Noah crowned as the world's strongest forward, the chance of me stealing a spot at Bastard's A striker was 100% impossible. Facts. He's going to another team, bro. That's why I wanted to use this league to secure a bigger offer from another club. And force my way out of Bastard Munchen. My plan to become the best player in the world. I achieved step one on my plan, but there's no way in hell I can go home after losing to him. Yeah, I know you can do it, Kaiser. Bro, Ness is the biggest glazer of all time in this, bro. Goddamn. Ever since that day, ever since that moment. Oh, pre backstory. I was allowed in that familiar sense of despair. You showed up and taught me. There's no such thing as impossible. Oh, shit. Let's see what's good. 242. What the fuck going on here? Blue Rose and the Magician Portable. My parents are both scientists. Ever since I was born, my parents drilled into me that everything in the world can be explained through logic. Um, Papa, you can heal this with a healing spell? No, Alexis. You must quickly clean the wound and disappear. It's like, bro, ain't no fucking bullshit over here. Just clean it and this No, no magic, bro. If we do not clean the wound, there's a chance that it would get infected to slow down the healing, the hearing, pro the healing, bro, that's a typo, right? The healing process. If it happens, the wound would become necrotic, and in the worst case scenario, you will die. <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> that, that's, bro, yo, hey, you, you, bro, you can only, you can just said against your kid, no, no, we just clean it, this affected you good. <laughs> this is like fucking, when you Google your symptoms, when you Google your symptoms, you're like, hmm, I got a headache. What does this mean? You're gonna die in 24 hours. This is the same shit, but in real life. He is tripping, bro. Mama, would I die if I become necrotic? No, you won't. If you treat it properly, your chances of you dying are 0.0%. Now bother us with every little cut and injury. You must learn to deal with the situation by yourself. Mom, I'm literally like 10 years old. Hello? That's right, Alexis. What are you, stupid? Stupid necroticness. Hey, big bro, big sis. Is it possible to summon this monster and bring it, bring it to life? What are you talking about, dumbass? How many times have you told you the monster is a figment of imagination? There's no such thing as magic, idiot. Are you going about magic again, Alex? We told you you don't read such garbage, idiot. This ain't no fool metal alchemist, bruh. No alchemy here. There's no magic. No magic in my house. Oh, fearsome golem. Give me your strength. I summon the Wachter des Schnees. Bro, is this a fucking isekai dog? What's going on here? Give me your strength. Wachter des Schnees. Shut up, Alexis. Because of you, we can't focus on our experiments, idiot. I was practicing magic. I want the pet, so why, you stupid little? How many times have we told you not to talk about magic? Stupid good for nothing. I don't know what that means. But are they oh, wait, I forgot. He's German, right? I feel, oh, this actually makes a lot of sense. Mama, Papa, Alex is pressing magic again. Are you sure he's even related to us? Snow is composed of frozen water crystals, but they also contain dirt particles that were circulating in the air. So please wash your hands before coming inside. We are scientists, Alex. Our duty is to absorb research, explain the natural phenomena. People who foolishly believe in the possible are not wanted in the house. 
He is literally 10 years old or some shit, bro. Hello? Yeah, I definitely got the short end of the gene pool. You wasted so much time because of doofus. Back to research, research. You reject magic because you can't. You pass. I don't know what the fuck that means. Don't try to understand. That is in my heart. Explain this in a scientific manner. I truly believe that magic does exist. Re but this, but this, and that is this whole chapter sounds like a fucking like I Isekai episode one. The kid that believed in magic now was transported to Isekai. I swear to God, this could be Isekai blood. When I first read that book, I was so excited, I couldn't sleep an entire night, and now I'm transported in that book. But at first, I got hit by a truck. None of you can explain what I felt that moment. I searched for magic every day. This is the moment where you would go outside for school and get hit by a truck. This is the exact moment right here. I like dealing with fiction rather than fact. If my family likes to brush off fiction as magic, then I believe that the world is full of magic and adventure. And an indescribable feeling, that indescribable sadness. I can't explain it. Football. This is true magic. With a single goal, a player can ignite the crowd, whip the stadium into a frenzy, provide a sense of euphoria that transcends the all logic. I found them. Football players are magicians. This is what I want to do. I want to become a footballer. Is he an idiot? Ignore him. Forget about it. He'll come back crying back to us in no time. I'll show them. I'll turn pro. Get called up to die. Manshaft. The, the in. Oh, the Manshaft. A national team. One day. And then. I'll become a player that will enter into the world with my magic. Whoa. Nice goal, Ness. We were invincible in this town. Hurry up and turn pro, Ness. Hey, kid. You're interested in turning pro. Do you want to go to try out for a club? Yo, is that fucking uh, Snuffy? Bastard Munchen Academy. Tryouts. Oh, never mind. That is not. He kind of look like him. Actually, I have no idea what the fuck that is. They are huge and they look strong. No, I'll show them. If I show results in this intra squad scrimmage, chance of me scoring a pro contract at Bastard Munchen, the strongest club in Germany, will skyrocket. My dream of becoming a magician will come true. Kick off. The magician, bro, you are in the wrong series, bro. This is the wrong series. You sound like fucking Asta. Trying to become Wizard King. Hey, number 20, I'm open. Dude, you're too slow. Can't be helped since this is such a makeshift team, but I guess I passed too. Huh? I already got past this guy, but he's already there? Crap. These guys totally different from the players I'm used to facing. This is the level of those guys who are seriously trying to go pro. Even though I could just keep up with them with my technique and creativity. But when it comes to tactics, coordination, play, and transition, these guys are on a totally different level. Hey, man. There's a big difference between uh, there's some dude who will play outside and a professional. Even like the best player, even like the dude who's on the bench who barely plays with fuck up a regular person. Nobody who thinks he's good. Damn it. Damn it. My magic is powerless against the world. Shit, maybe you don't got magic, bro. What the hell are you doing? You're too slow. Get rid of the ball quicker, slow but How many times are you going to let them steal the ball from you? Shut up. No such thing as magic. People foolishly believe in magic or the one thing is how stop. Stupid idiot. Dipshit failure. I hate this. My magic. Hey, loser. Do you believe in the impossible? Motherfucker looking magnificent right here. Alright, 243. Are we getting the backstory? 243. Do you believe in the possible? Huh? Just now, the thought of giving a flash in your mind. Am I wrong? That kind of thinking is a curse. Stupid scrub. <laughs> yeah, the moment people the moment people thinks are impossible, they are programmed to give up. Use a survival mechanism, but that's a thought process of the week. Why you protect your pathetic hide? You kill and seal off your potential. Hmm. Sacrifice your yourself in exchange for living along a tedious life. Those trash who do that are the ones I hate the most. I admit our opponents are good. But they're only executing what is possible at a very high level. I don't see a truly strong player among them. But you're different. You're dribbling the timing of your passes. You were imagining place one step ahead. But you didn't have a partner who understood that understood your ideas. And with me. All of your ideas will become possible. Get up. Let's do this, loser. Uh, well, at that moment, I decided to trust him. It is how I'm gonna go out. Oh shit, this is how the, the dynamic duo started. My creativity, my magic. It was everything I've got to team up with him. 
this timing now all right thanks to him i've got more options to work with but he quickly shut down his shot angle he has nowhere to shoot that's what you thought bam you're full of holes idiots what what the hell what was that shot it shot motion ridiculously fast that motherfucker kaiser impact let's do this loser give me the next one yes in that tryout michael kaiser alexis ness welcome to bastard mansion we showed them the impossible it was there kaiser and i first met the one two punch right there uh, are you gonna drink your milk i hate milk i can't set any white colored drinks what the fuck hey why are you too late for training it's ness fault he, he didn't wake up eh? there's the guy who woke up with bed hair it's atrocious hey i can't see rinse me off but you let yourself with too much hope, idiot. Besides, do it yourself. Hey, Ness, I was originally a mentally weak person, huh? Bro, what is this fucking haircut? Bro, y'all got way too much money to do this yourself, bro. I constantly gave up when I, fa when I faced things I believed to be impossible. That's why to remind myself, remind myself to never again fall into that weak mindset. I got the blue rose tattoo on my neck. I see. A blue rose symbolizes the achievement of the impossible. It is officially created with its unique blue color. It was initially seen in nature. And it possibly turned to reality. When I first saw blue rose, I thought as an example of turning the impossible into reality. A symbol of defiance, a sign of defying the natural order of things. I want to become someone who can be defined. The impossible. But if you become the impossible, it just became possible, right? I'm just saying. That's it. That's awesome. Seeing how Kaiser was willing to open up with me. I win the Champions League and the World Cup. And then I was happy. I don't want to cast down the rest of the football world into despair. I, I want to cast. Okay. Looks sound like a fucking super villain. Now that sounds like you. There. How's that? It's fine. I just want to cut it short because it's getting in the way. More importantly, how's the die coming in? Looks good. And then one day. It's a beautiful shade of blue. His dream became my dream. It's because of Kaiser. I still believe in magic. <gasps> what the fuck going on? Kaiser, what are you doing? Are you okay? He's deliberately choking himself. Stop. What are you? Hey, Ness, I see it now. I found it. A way to destroy Yoichi once and for all. What the fuck is he talking? A way to tutorial the tables, my new weapon? What? This dude is tweaking. No, he's choking himself. Freaky ass. What the fuck going on? He is tripping, bro. This dude is fucking tripping. You would think, like, I mean, brainstorm. You know, everybody does brainstorming differently. Some people go on a walk. You know what I'm saying? Some people listen to music. And just close their eyes. I don't know. Some people, I don't know, make a fucking mind map or some shit. Some people just, you know, write shit down. This motherfucker is choking himself to get to get ideas. Like, listen, look, I don't, I don't, I don't play football. I, ne I don't play football, so I don't know how it works. Maybe this is what y'all do in locker rooms, choking yourself out. You know, what I'm saying to figure out new plays and shit. I don't know, bro. Let me let me know if that's true, cause I don't know. I don't know if this is the regular, you know, you know, some regular scheduled programming. You know, some regular things. You know, what I'm saying choke yourself out after practice to get some new ideas. I don't know. I don't know if this is like some regular shit. Y'all let me know, but to me, this looks crazy. This looks crazy. I'm just saying. Never seen somebody choke himself out in any basketball manga yet. So, you know, y'all might just be weird. Uh, but okay, so we got uh, the backstory of Ness, I guess. There's a bar. Uh, I wonder what he found out after choking himself out. Then I thought he was choking on something. I don't know. I, I, felt, I thought like that was about to hit him with a Heimlich. Uh, but uh, <laughs> guess I was wrong. Uh, but okay, let, let's see what he let, let's see what he thinks. Let's see what he found out. I guess we're gonna see it next week, or maybe this week. I don't know. I'm pretty, I might release today. I have no idea. But I guess let's see the next chapter. What's going on? <laughs> you're back at with some more blue luck. So uh, I haven't read blue luck in about a month. Yeah, about a month now. Uh, last chapter we saw uh kaiser choking himself out so i was like you know what 
couldn't handle that. I was like, I need a break. I wasn't like I thought I was gonna see a, a nice manga about soccer slash football. Then I saw a dude choke himself out. So I was like, you know what, I need a break. But now we're back again with some blue luck. Uh, chapter 244 PXG. So this is like post game. <laughs> I like how they're bro bro. <laughs> I like how other best like 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 fit in these quarters, but these shapes are crazy as hell. What is even the shape? Imagine you have long ass legs. You're gonna like yeah, I feel like th this would be like the best spot. But I don't know, this is like like I don't got long oh actually now look at his long, look at him laying down. Actually that's probably not a problem. This is a bed look big as hell. Actually, they're good. Still interesting shape because they they have just could have got like regular sized beds. Why am I analyzing the architecture bro of this fucking room? Of the, the interior design whatever if my math is correct scoring a goal is worth between 30 and 50 million damn wait, oh wait this is yen of course i forgot a conversion rate but it's like it's like 30 50k or something i think maybe i don't know right right i see isaka yoichi right now the difference between your rinse value and mine is 30 million does that mean if we beat pxg and i outscore rain i overtake him in the rankings the title of Blue Lock's number one player is right in front of me. I want to defeat him, surpass him. I want to see the scenery from the top. Yeah, pretty sure we saw this in like the beginning of the series. That you need to like trample over everybody. Hey, you like gun, let's go. Rinse, rinse, ma rinse Kun's match about to start. Match 7, Barsha first PXG. Yeah, let's see what Batra got going on. It's about to start. Time to scout out the enemy. I wonder what kind of team PXG is. To win and become number one, I need to to, uh, to win and become number one. I need to analyze Rin and PXG. Wait, who the hell is playing with Rin? Actually, I don't even know. Uh, Rin, do I Tokimitsu? Okay. Uh, Nanase. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. I don't see any crazy people besides Rin, as far as I'm aware. Itoshi and Rin's playing as a lone striker, and Shido's starting. Wait, is Shido starting? On the bench, what's up? Yeah, oh, oh, what the fuck? Oh wait, this way with Shiro. What the fuck is dudes on the bench? The fuck going on here? Try and get past us, Rinchan. Rinchan, I'm open, providing Rinchan support while simultaneously creating a three v two situation. They're good. You let the ball go by right now. Number six has the ball. Who the fuck is this? Charles. He's true. He's in range. Here it comes. Rings trump card and highly accurate curve shot. What? A devilish spinning mid range shot? Whoa. When did this guy learn to shoot a shot like that? By adding different spins to his shot, his scoring options have increased drastically, skillfully. So, this is the new Itoshi Rin. Julian Loki, request a substitution change. Huh? Why? They're pulling Rin and inserting Shido. What what is this lineup right here? Okay, Karasu and Santetsu are here. Alright, alright, I recognize those. But I guess they're on the bench, of course. They did a wholesale change. This is an entirely different system. What is going on? Okay, I'm assuming because they can play it together or something. From when Rin was on the field. Huh. God damn it, Karasu. Santetsu dashing. Unlike before, this team is playing a very counter-attacking style. They immediately go on the counter once they gain a possession. Using high-speed combinations, they move to set Shido up to score. A uh, high arcing pass, but it's too fast. There's no way Shido can get it, can get to it. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it, it's just it, it's just up right there. Damn! How, bro? Look at how he, con bro. Look how he is contorting his body. Bro, his torso is like facing this way while his leg is going another way and his other leg is like what what bro this is some some crazy fucking shit right there. Demon shot. Whoa. She was an otherworldly bad shot taker and maker. But still, what a genius level. Holy crap. Hey man, you miss every shot you don't take. Let me zoom this in a little bit actually. Oh wait, it's kinda of too crazy. Yeah. Now nah, he's a freak. 
This is bullshit. There's no way. There's no way to game plan against it. Oh, yeah, I don't know how to game plan against this, bro. Shit. Either way, this team relies heavily on the striker's talents to score, right? A wrench uncentered system and a shido consented system. A dangerous team with two distinct styles in which they can win. Yeah, yeah. So, what the hell are we gonna do? How are we supposed to game plan against them? So, yeah, I'm assuming he couldn't combine these two. He's like, you know what? We're gonna make two separate systems. No, the pass was just now intentional. Yep. That guy knew Shido consistencies and intentionally sent that pass. Huh? What did what did you do see? Plus his assist to Rin. Delivering a pinpoint pass with some backspin, so read that more scoring options. He's good. Yeah, not only does he have a good understanding of Shido Kun's instinctive playstyle, he can also sync and match up with Rin Kun's vision at playmaking. The reason PXG can win with two polar opposite playing styles is because of beautiful passes number six dishes out. Yeah, this man Charles, he looked like he got the. Oh wait, never mind. I was about to say he got the fucking uh, what you call it? Uh, I fucking forgot his name, but the dude with the bangs, but also like the Metavision. But uh, I, th I thought he was the same type of build, but we can see his eyes right now, so never mind. Charles Chevalier, Angle, I thought it said Cavalier for a minute. So he's PXG's heart. All right, so he's like the. The fucking, uh, whatchamacallit. I think midfielder. Yeah, I think, bro, listen, I have no idea how the fuck IRL soccer slash football works. But pretty sure the midfielder is like the person who dishes out like assists and shit like that, right? Like the point guard in basketball. Because his strength is a double stand system that maximizes the strength of the two strikers, Rin and Shido. And it's to steal all the attention. Who is the skilled maestro play behind them that brings the best out of these polar opposite strikers? So he's PSG's heart. Yeah. Okay, so this makes a lot of sense. Because usually, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. But I don't know, I don't know how the other fuck soccer works. But at least in other sports, when I say other sports, I'm talking about basketball. If you have like two star players, like for example, two big scorers, it's, it, usually it's kind of tough for them to work together. Because they're used to like being the only one to score. So now you have to share like the points, share like the scoring opportunities. Uh... And and it, and it is a wonder that he was able to get Shido off the bench. Usually, if somebody is like very talented, it's a great scorer. They also have a big ego and don't want to come off the bench. Uh, but yeah, I guess Shido, uh, Shido probably doesn't have enough pull, I guess, to, to demand that. But I mean, if you can make it work, you can definitely make a deadly duo. Two different systems and a crazy starting striker and one of the bench. Hey, Amen. You got, a, you got a tough team right here. Both the starting and the bench unit are, equal, are like potentially equally as dangerous. And at the heart, of course, you need a good distributor. And this, this is like the key, I guess. Hmm, yeah, I don't know how we're going to shut this down. Uh, maybe Mr. with a bet. I dead ass forgot his name. He, the one that looks like a hentai protagonist. Uh, maybe him. Maybe that guy could be the key. Or maybe... Because I'm assuming Isagi is not gonna like play against this guy, right? Or actually, actually, this man might be his opponent. That could also be the case. Because I'm assuming it's gonna be like Isagi versus Rin, right? I don't think Isagi is gonna like try to beat this dude, but I don't know. Uh, either it's like Mr. Handler protagonist or this man right here. One of the two. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. But I guess we're gonna see. Hopefully, we're not gonna see uh, too many sus moments uh, back to back. But hey, man, it's blue luck, so we're probably gonna see them. But anyway, I guess uh, we're gonna figure it out in the next chapter. Blue luck 245. At the same time, uh, Uber's Manshine City, match 8. Well, be a big reflexive firepower at the same time, another part of blue luck. Ubers and Manchester City exchange blows as chaos emanates from the two battlegrounds. Who will become the game's protagonist and score the winning goal? Bro, in Blue Lock, essentially everybody becomes a protagonist at some point. <laughs> Lord Nagi has his own fucking spin off. Pass Agi, pass to Seshiro. He's like, man, do I really get a pass? Ooh. Now with the heal, is crazy. Bro, I can't wait. I can't wait for the fucking movie, bro. 
here it comes. Activate anti-genius defense. Try and stop me. Like, how does how does this even work? How does this how does this even work, bro? Oh, this motherfucker with the gold grills again. Too bad. You're not the only one who's special, okay? Are there any players who actually play with gold grills? And I don't think I don't think or or, or are there? I don't know. I could be wrong, but like it sounds kind of crazy. Do any athletes actually play with grills in? Or like golds at least? Too bad. Lorenzo, shoot Nagi, don't hesitate. Just focus on the goal. Oh, he put his palm on his chest. Damn, concussion, too slow. This is really all you got, genius. Show what happened to the passion you showed when you faced Isagi. Nice IQ. Ain't no way he choked it right now. The block just show just now is worth 80 million. Damn it. Oh shit, this is my, this is my guy again. My, of course. You be devouring this hoe. You devouring this hoe. Out of my way, loser. The last goal is mine. Let me devour this real quick. Tyrant charge. Cutting edge design. Finish. Damn. What the fuck? Man. You oh, a lion versus a cheetah. Shit, I know his ankle hurt. Meow is crazy. I bet you someone block your shot that says meow. That's crazy as hell. Chuggy the best player of Manshine. Sendo? Alright. The goddamn hyena. Seriously, Sendo. Man, I still don't accept the na his name as Sendo, bro. Because, like, my favorite character of Hajime no Ippo is Sendo. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not really fucking with it. With that goal, match 8 of the new Egoist League is over. He just, bro, he just added, like, at least 20 mil on his fucking name. <laughs> Ubers defeats Mansign Shitty. 3 to 1. Damn. Damn. Huh. A sting stand. You two won't be able to level up anymore. The next match will last change. Before you both become insignificant randoms. <laughs> Break up your partnership, Rayo. Uh, shut up and leave me alone, you meddling fussy in-law. <laughs> Damn, he's gonna say you're about to fell off. You're, you're about to become NPCs. You're too codependent. If you genuinely wish to become stronger, sometimes necessary to have the guts to cast aside those pressures to you. To grow and evolve into a world-class player. Hey, King. What is your goal? I like how he's addressing Burrow as like King. It, it, it is what it is. What drives you to play football so intensely? Huh? Is it obvious to become the best player in the world? Exactly. Exactly. Did it already? Oh, actually, yeah, they, 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 they do that already. Yo, Boro knows what's up. He's like, man, what you talking about? Like, why do I play intensely? I'm just trying to be the best. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. Like, I feel like, I don't know. Like, I don't know where this is going, but it might be, it might be a longer breakup. Damn. I feel like this might go like um, the route of like people. Some people are just so tal talented that they just, just like write their talent essentially, just their gifts. But eventually, if you don't like work on it, you kind of fall behind, right? I feel like Nagi might get into this position where it's like his talent isn't like enough anymore. He actually needs to like put in work to become better. I think I think he I think we might like get into that like uh, in this in this realm right now. Only way for Nagi to change is to fall way down. What do you mean by that? Because I feel like Nagi like is like conviction is kind of like eh, he's just playing because he's I feel like he's just playing because he's good at it I guess. Borrow is just like shit. I'm just trying to win. What happens after that? I will define an era of football as its king. Yeah. Yeah, you're trying to become the LeBron James of this shit and destroy all those who dare challenge me for my throne. Like, listen, I would like, like, I can't give a soccer slash football reference because I don't watch fucking soccer slash football. So I don't know any references like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he devoured Isagi and he got, no yeah. Yeah, Nagi is just like, he's, he's just like there. He's just like there. He's like, whatever, I'm good at this shit. I see. 
You want to become king of the footballing world, huh? What's with it? What is with those half-assed, weak-willed questions all of a sudden? Besides, right now, you're not even annoying. The hell is up with that, eh? Oh, you fell off. I said you fell off. Like, who, 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 like, divine, like, like, defined, like, who's, like, the king of an era? Like, you know, in basketball, like, you got players that are, like, pretty much the best player of an era at that, at that time. Like, a certain, a certain period, like, are they the best in the world? So like you got Jordan, you got like Kobe, you got like Braun. You know what I'm saying? Messi, I guess. I don't know. Shit, like, could be. I don't fucking know. All I know is like he apparently is like the goat from what I heard. So I guess, I guess you could say that. I guess Bottle is trying to become, is trying to like be an upper echelon of players who just be known as the best. Because like in certain eras of sports, you have like a spirit where like people. Unanimously agree. Okay, this is the best player in the world right now. Like Boros, like I'm just trying to try. I'm trying to. Str I'm gonna like get to the level. It's like your hunger to become stronger is gone. I can't feel. I can't even feel you usual pain in the ass competitive, verver anymore. All I see now is a loser pretending to fight because he lost his edge. Go ahead, rock bottom, despair, and die, you whip. <laughs> Unless you do some serious soul searching with a half-assed ego, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Barrow lived the next Ronaldo. Bruh. You know, it's, I feel like in both, like, <laughs> in both, like, sports and manga, they'd be like, I, I don't feel like the same edge of you anymore. Go become stronger and face me. In this, in this manga, you are literal trash and go die. Yeah. Yeah. You won't stand a chance on the world stage. PXG first Barsha. Damn. Damn, I guess Barsha couldn't do it. Roshido, acrobatic diving header. Even though Lavinio came on and together with Otoya and Barsha helped Barsha draw a level. In the end, it wasn't enough. Thanks to Shido's goal, PXG won. My dear Barsha, I was getting fucked. <laughs> With that, we and PXZ are the only teams who are still undefeated. That means the match against PXG is an all-out battle to determine the champion of the Neo Egoist League. The stage is set for the best of the best. Oh, this is kind of too epic, hold on. I hate the blue look Twitter for that. What, what do you mean? What, what does a Twitter do? Like, I don't follow, follow any really. I don't know. I, I just... I'm not really on Twitter like that. This stage is set for the best of the best. Ooh. I hate the blue look. Right, oh, Ryder. I can't fucking... I can't, I can't read. I can't read. <laughs> uh, I, I, I can't read, bro. I can't. 246. Regular and perverse. What the fuck is this title? Jin Kiora. How is this man still in this league? Igarashi? Okay, like, Butcher lost, lost like every match of Barca, bro. I don't think I've ever seen a moment in this whole manga that this dude actually cooks. Every time I see him, he is getting cooked. Like, I might just crazy. Every time I see this man, he is getting cooked. Like, what are his accolades, bro? Like, where he just got crossed or some shit or whatever the equivalent is. Damn it, one more Kyora, sure. He be putting in work though, fall training. <laughs> nah, ain't no way, he, fl he, fl he flop training, that's crazy as hell. German wing monitor room, now then. Matches 7 and 8 have concluded, so we will announce a new salary rankings. Oh, Yeah, let's see who got the most bread. This match was the last one for the Italian team. Guess Borrow and the rest of the Italian team are getting their last salary offers. All right, this is a new ranking. Uh, let's see, let's let's see what we got going on. But you can tell, bro, are, are, is bro is fucking Igaguri still trying to get like fall trading, bro? Like really? Instead of like working on his game, he's just only working on the falls. All right, whatever. Let me see what's going on. That I need to overcome. Let's see. 
at present 35 players total have reached offers. Batra, well, Batra is is up there though. Hey, hold on. <laughs> okay. Ayo IQ also up there. Okay, Chigiri Kurigami. Okay. Unagi 11. Oh, Nagi. Hey, yo, he falling off. Damn, if a Kunigami higher than him, that's kind of wild. That is kind of wild. But all the top 32 will be under 20 representative for Japan. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay, oh, yeah, I'm not seeing any. Uh... Bro, how's Raichu still in here? Yeah, Raichu gets more accolade, accolades, bro. Gagamaru, okay. Yeah, I'm not seeing uh, fucking Igaguri in this, though. He's not here. Zantetsu 20. Yeah. Third, number 13, 24. Well, barely made it. Hey, man. A A 80 milli. And you're number 23. No Jordan, but you know what I'm saying? At least you're in there. Damn. Rio, it happened again. Y'all falling off, bro. Y'all fell off. We're going down at this rate. We. I said, I thought something needs to change. Shido number four. Ooh, 100 mil. Number one is within my grasp. Wait, how the, wait, how the fuck are y'all tied? Tied is crazy. I cut up, loser. Number two is kind of crazy. Both number two. <laughs> number one, Itoshi Rin. With a salary offer of 189 million. You went up again. Rin. The conditions have been set. What you thought, Boro got fucked? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of crazy. Like, how you get tied? I feel like that's some, that's some like, blood armor shit. How the fuck you get tied? Those who stand at the borderline. Those who are aiming to overturn things in one shot. No one know the worst coach. <laughs> and those aiming to steal the number one spot. You all have your own objectives, but... A team has just won. Calmly and rationally display your abilities and achieve victory. Now, let's start a strategy meeting for the last game. Good work, everyone. Become a singularity, PXG. As always, I'll go over your points to improve. Out of four, four shots taken, three were within limits. That's a good ratio, but please try to increase your overall, sh sh overall amount of shots somewhat, Rinsan. Shido, you shot 12 times, but only three were within limits. So you're shooting too much. Please work hard to boost your range a bit more and increase your position. Yo, this man is just fucking shooting. Volume shooter right here. Kurtu son, raise your chance of winning duels. So that's son, increase your sprint, sprint reps. To commit to son, please coordinate more with the back line. And Nasa, work on simply polishing your ball touch technique. <laughs> Damn. I haven't told you your homework yet, Charles. Come on, your meetings are always so long, Loki. Can't I just wing it? How many times do I have to tell you the reason I joined the new Egos League was to develop you, Charles? Oh, damn. I need the passer who can help me become the world's best. You have a talent for that. On top of that, at 15, you're even younger than me. 15 is crazy as so. hell. Wait, how old are they actually? I, aren't they like 18 or some shit? Or am I crazy? As the best in the world, we will carry the future of French soccer. Hey, tell me what he's, when he's done talking. But since you still have an overwhelming lack of necessary experience, Loki's... Now, I mean, like, the other characters. Are they, like, around 18 or some shit? Like, like, Isagi and them? Or am I crazy? You came here to study. <laughs> this man is recruiting... Yeah, okay, yeah, I was like, wait, what the fuck? This man is young as hell. 15 is crazy as fuck. Nico, 15 or 16. Is this Loki like a, uh, like fucking sports grooming? Well, like what's going on? <laughs> oh, he's like he's 16. Okay. Are you done? Come on in. How are you planning on being so carefree? I'm literally 15, bro. Well, I don't want to do what I'm told to do. I want to play Fortnite. I'm a contrarian after all. Then don't. Then you don't need to listen anymore, huh? Okay, I will listen. W, w strategy, refer psychology. You see. Is he, re he really is a contrarian. Listen up, everyone. We performed a trial run of using the two Rinsan and Shiro Sun systems. That was an experiment to draw Charles' ability abilities in making pass. Ah, I see. So we just did that just to like train this dude. 
to two strikers with their own special particularities. You other players responded to that while making choices that made a case for your own existence. By doing so, you each boosted your level of play and become a productive team by cultivating and experimenting with your individual abilities. But our last opponent is, is, no, is Noah's Bastard Munchen. They're an outstanding team which, like us, remains undefeated. And true to his nature, Noah is making use of Michael Kai's Shenis and Yoichi Isagi. Oh yeah, my boy Isagi in the conversation right now. By forcing their two systems to coexist and compete. Okay, so I'm assuming he's gonna do the same thing with like Shido and Rin then, in that case. It's in a regular and perverse system. In our case, we have our Rin and Shido systems. Which we alternate between every 15 minutes by switching out players. But the perverse is way more interesting. Oh, so do you mean that's right? This shit is cut off like crazy. PXG will have Rin and Shido coexist and intercept the enemy with our own irregular perverse formation. Yep, they essentially this 2v2 battle right here. Huh, it'd be like a kaiju battle here. A no guard punch out, huh? This strategy will be extremely difficult. Make good use of the two headed beast of Rin and Shido sign. Bro, they essentially just going like two on two right now. Hmm. Uh, but for this to work, these two need to like fucking work together somehow. To triumph over Bastard Munchen, this is my final homework assignment for you, PXG. I can't hear you, yeah, you're tweaking. Okay. Okay, so it seems like we're coming uh, to the finale right now. 